Welcome back, agents. Welcome back to Lego Agents. So this is new series. It marks off the last episode, episode nine of Zombie War Mark season two. Marks off where we last ended off. And yeah, so here is a mock, a new mock. Actually, something looks familiar. The mountain area looks familiar. That shop looks familiar. The beach area looks familiar. Well, it all is the same from the last mock from season two, episode nine. But it's just completely updated over here in this section area. You got a park over here. Got more construction area going on there. Towns area parking. It's pretty nice. Dated, cool, with people. Yep, it's nice. So let's start off story wise. Story wise, over here. So it's just a normal day in the park, in the beach area, park area, or whatever. So as you can see, here's the beach area. It's oceans, nice day. People are swimming out. Made a lifeguard post. It's pretty nice. The lifeguard has a life jacket, just in case, you know. It's your job. Over here on the beach area, there's some sitting places, some tables, some umbrellas, covered shade. Yep, it's cool. Here's one of those garbage um, restrooms. <laughs> you know, they always have it at those public swimming pools or something like that. They're always so dirty. So, yeah. Here we have an outside cooking station, maybe. So a chef is like cooking some pizza, looks like, some snacks. Side this area is supposed to be a whole kitchen. This house kind of reminds me of the first Lego Zombie Warmark series. The last episode of the first Lego Zombie Warmark series. Where it's the final evacuation and those two old rusty houses been down, lawnmower down by those zombies. Story wise, after the cure of the Lego zombies, so up west, up north, up north, in in like the Atlantic area. What am I even saying? <laughs> um, so they found a cure out. So yeah, everybody's rebuilding. That's why you can see there's a lot of construction going on. Because all the big bills and stuff, they're making it all new, brand new, helping each other out. Everyone's having fun, so I'm pretty sure these two characters don't remind you of some guys, but or do remind you, I don't know. So, yeah, that little officer over there looks suspicious towards these guys. I'm pretty sure he think he knows what he's doing. These guys don't look that good. He has just sent sent out information about these two suspects to another officer over at the over at the surfing area shop. So yeah. So this officer agent is has just received a message and is now going to look for subsets going to suspect the suspects and try to ask them a few questions. But before that she noticed and spots some people coming up over here. Some familiar faces, some new ones too. So if we go around over here, we can see it's just a group of gang. Looks like it's just a gang, some friends walking over here. So then the officer over there in the in the surfing shop is now gonna send it call sent a message to one of the officers undercover in the bushes what do you mean in the bushes well these guys are elite and know what they're doing so right now they're trying to be pretty steady see if anything is going on a mission this guy just received the call sending the signal to his other officer make sure he's there up to good and if they're not then he'll know what to do with them Moving down, 
down over here. Another officer is going right behind this shady deal over here. So it looks like it's a bunch of guys getting some money. Some crooks look like, seems. Seems like it. Suitcases could be filled with guns, armors, armor weapons, anything. Anything. We know they're planning something big. This guy's trying to hear off some information about the deal. Finally, if we move to the old park area, the cemetery, where now it all stands, we can find the man himself, Gus. The man who started, started the war of the bandits. This area looks pretty detailed. Got some bushes here, plants growing out, this tree, graves too, because of all the zombies in the air. Zombies before time. Before this part of time. Gus looks like he lost an arm. Aw, oh, poor guy. After that, that long war. But luckily, we did win the war, but, well, some of them did escape, so, that's why, that's why they're all here, they're planning for some, the last zombie in the world, not heavily guarded, but, can't, can't move out of Dallas chains, he kept it here, to keep memory, what happened before this time and to not make, and to try to tell people to not to make those mistakes again or I just put it there because it looks cool so let's go starting off with the mock area so here it is so this is the mock this is just, just the main mock area is what I'm doing so here we start in town city, the town's area. So as you can see, there's a stop stopping light, there's a road, and there's you can see these nice elements and marks like the towns people towns houses area. So along this line, if it goes further, there'll be more houses, townhouses, and nice stuff like that. <coughs> Sorry. So yeah, these are just the two houses you guys see in every mock. You know, those ones. So then I made this little house. So yeah. Then this area you, looks like it should be a storage system for what be happened before. Before in the last mock, this used to be a storage system of another survivor's base. Seems like they're now getting rid of it, trying to dig all the stuff off, and they're trying to make something new out of this place. So yeah, that's cool. As you can see, since of all the construction they made, people in the town's houses have to park over here, but that's not that bad. <laughs> not that bad of a walk, it's okay. So all these cars, all these new stuff. So yeah, so you guys saw the mountain before. It's pretty nice, but so yeah, I used Lego Duplo bricks. So there's like tw twice the size in scale of a Lego brick. I can show you right now what that looks like. So if we go here to the Lego room. I have a size comparison of a Lego Duplo brick. So yeah. So to your left, you can see it's a normal Lego brick, and to your right is the big giant Duplo brick. So yes, they're all Lego. They're all from the Lego company. 
it's no mega blocks, I didn't use any mega blocks. So yeah, you can see. Oh it's not that it's not that easy to see since it's a clear one, but okay. So this is a Lego normal two by two and it clicks easily like that and it stays secure nice, doesn't fall off and yep and also you can place it on the on the plates of normal lego bricks to duplo so yeah that's cool so that's how I made most of the lego mountain yeah. so over here we have the surfing area so this is uh, just made of a couple of few pieces. I got surfing boards, made a nice little stand over here. I just got one of those curved pieces, curved door pieces, put some tiles on top, make it look nice. There's two studded bricks. Then glass windows, a bunch of two by two light gray bricks, two by whatever, one by two. 2x2 two two and 1x2 one bricks and a boat on top a canoe, you guys saw that canoe before I'm pretty sure you did but if you haven't, then oh well and yeah, this, once you place the surfboards it looks pretty nice but it looks pretty cool for a beach area so over here is a lifeguard stand it's pretty nice I made it like this, like so so yeah, there's a ladder on the back, and yeah, comes in two pieces, and then there's the sitting area, as you can see on the side he has a life jacket and binoculars, in case for any emergency, it doesn't stick steady, steadily, but it stays there nice and well, so yeah, that's good. Over here in this house. What I did is, well, I don't know what I did. Just got some random 1x2s. 1x2, 1x3, 1x4, 1x6 bricks, brown bricks, some windows, you guys saw it before, and yep. Like I said, this kind of reminds you of the Lego Zombie Remark Final Evacuation Season 1. So if you guys want to see more stuff like that, let's check that first season out. It's pretty nice. It's in the beach area. Oh, well, it's pretty nice. This, I don't know why I made this. First of all, I was trying to make like some little shed over in the, um, in the park area, the cemetery area. But it turned out really bad. I didn't have enough pieces, so I just made this goofy thing. Doesn't look that bad, but, um, oh well. Doesn't look like something you'll see in real, real life either. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So yeah. Well, this episode has really been long. But, yep, that is it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. And, yep, I'll see you guys next time. In the next episode of LEGO Agents. The last episode. Technically the last episode of LEGO Zombie Warmark Season 2. Or is it? Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time in the next episode. Bye. Loot.